giving birth to a child who is not normal, let's just say it, means you have to uh, allow that child you thought you were going to have to die and accept the child you have. Ha! I think the art of school socialization program is crucial because it catches kids who otherwise would fall through the gaps because there are a number of regular ed after school programs around but the kids that Misty serves do not fit into those programs. Uh, Abilities United started back in the 60s by a group of parents who had babies with disabilities and basically those parents were told to institutionalize their 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 kids. They didn't want to do that. So they came together and formed a support group. Uh, Ryan was born with Down syndrome uh, 17 years ago. Words cannot describe the uh, feelings. Uh, but the process was like, you know, probably walking through mud that's setting into cement, but you just have to put one foot in front of the other and keep moving and find a good program uh, to help learn how to raise a child like Ryan. This program is a socialization training program. Um, there, there really isn't much left out there like this program. There are some behavioral programs for kids with disabilities, and then there's, of course, just, you know, daycare. Ryan is the kind of kid uh, at that point in his life, and even still now to some degree, needs a lot of facilitation to have a social life. Left to his own devices, he would sit in the corner by himself and never play a game. But as a result of this program and the specific kind of programming methods that they use to help the children learn to integrate into other children's lives, I knew that this would be the program for him. Because the other places really are sweet, they're kind, but they're babysitting. There's a big difference between babysitting and a professional program to integrate the Thank kids. Thank you. Hi. Oh. Hi. What's next? Hi. Yeah, hi to your friend, right? Lots of people have a very, very narrow idea of inclusion. Stop. Good. Hi. Oh. Hi, Ryan. Oh, good. I think Misty's program is, is the poster child, if you like, for how broad we have to be about our definition of inclusion. Mm. Hi. <laughs> good. If you can put them in situations where you are modeling appropriate social interactions, where you are teaching them how to work with typically developing peers, how to behave in certain environments. Hi. Okay, can you say hi to Kevin? Hi. Awesome, thank you. That is still facilitating inclusion. It's inclusion on a different level, but it's still inclusion. around 10, 11, or 12 years old, a lot of our kids uh, get outgrown by their peers. And there are no more birthday parties, there are no more uh, gatherings in the park, because the kids are, you know, they're growing up. And then one more. So we needed to find something for Ryan to have a, uh, it still makes me a little emotional, a place where he could have friends and I chose Abilities United for the after school recreation program. How about, how do you say fun? Ba, ba, uh, ba. How do you say play? Ba. I don't think we want to promote inclusion to the exclusion of having people feel a part of a community of people with similar disabilities to their own. There is an advantage for these kids being around other kids who have similar issues that they do. It is extremely isolating if everybody around you behaves in a very, very different way. If everybody knows the rules of the game and you don't, you automatically feel anxious, right? But if you're put in an environment where you are surrounded by other people who may be equally confused about some of the rules of the game, but they can help you acquire the ones you don't currently have and you can help them with what you know plus you put them with some typically developing peers and some very experienced educators like Misty who help you understand those rules that's inclusion is it safe to cross are there any cars look that way no look that way is it safe yes okay let's go oh. thank oh. 
Um, we work on behavioral issues and we also um, give them a community integration experience. And we do um, a combination of independent work, small group activities and large group activities to work on social skills, behaviors, expressive language. Uh, moments of triumph can be small, can be large. Um, it can be something as simple as, you know, a child climbs to the top of a play structure for the first time. They try a new food. Um, they initiate play with a peer. They use spontaneous language to make a, make a request or to express an emotion or a feeling. Do you see pizza sauce? Yes. Where? Show me. Point to it. Can you grab one? Yes. One. All right. Hey. I also love the fact that I have such a wide age span. It's this program serves ages 5 to 22, um, basically till they turn 23. That's such a huge span of their life. And um, I have kids come and stay for that entire span and get to watch some amazing change um, and watch them grow. And it, it's just so meaningful and so powerful to me. Who's on your shirt? Esther. Crowd. I used to wake up at 3 in the morning worrying, oh my God, there's just no way he can go to a group home, he won't be able to fit in, he won't be able to participate in the dinners, he won't be able to go bowling, he won't be able to go to the movies with his friends in the group home. I have no doubt now he can do that and I can rest a lot easier and uh, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. What's great about working at an agency like this is that we all work here because we're extremely dedicated about what we're doing and we believe very, very strongly in what we do. In the morning, sometimes he doesn't want to get out of bed and all we have to do is say, today's Abilities United, and pops right out of bed, and runs in the kitchen, gets his breakfast, he's ready to roll, he's ready to go. Can I see your pizza? Yeah. Let me see it. What are you doing? Did Ryan make the pizza? Pizza. Ryan did it. Ryan did it. Most programs for kids with special needs are funded by the government, so the wide range of services that are out there. All of the kids are funded by the regional center. We pretty much are always operating in a deficit. Kevin desperately needs this socialization, and he's come such a long way. But what his caseworker is doing at the regional center is instead of continuing to fund for this program, they are going to give mom a daycare vendorization, which means they will give her $7.70 an hour or something like that um, for her to basically hire a babysitter for him. So we've, we're going backwards now. In Kevin's situation, it's just, it's heartbreaking to let him go because although he's come such a long way, I still see so much more potential in him and um, I just feel like that's being taken away from him. So he's being moved backward into isolation and he gets no more practice. It just stops his opportunity, stops his progress. If, for example, you don't have a socialization program that these kids fit into, that means that the kind of inclusion possibilities that might have been a possibility for them in the future just aren't there anymore, which means that they will need a higher level of care in the future than they might otherwise have needed. So ultimately, what you're doing is you may be saving money at this particular stage in their life, but what you're doing is placing a burden on the later stages and the bodies that are responsible for funding the services those kids need in the later stages of their lives. These kids are able to come here and be uh, a part of, part of a larger community where they're valued, where they're safe, where they're accepted and they're given the skills that they need to grow and to thrive. Hey Ryan, are you a happy boy? Happy boy, boy. <laughs> yeah. Do you like Abilities United? United. Yeah. yeah. We are all threads in the tapestry and each of us has something to contribute. I don't care who we are. Um, my son and every person I've ever known has contributed greatly to the happiness of my world and many people's world, um, bringing out the best in all of us um, who run into them. Every life is valuable and the dignity of human life cannot be interrupted.